news. Today's breaking news is taking us all the way to Memphis, Tennessee, USA. We are going to be talking about Tyree Nicholas. Welcome back, Trending Gist lovers. Sit, put, and let's dissect and analyze this sad story. All right, so five Memphis police have been arrested for the killing of Nicholas Tyree or Tyree Nicholas. So let's dive right into the story. Before we get right in, I want to start by reading what Tari's mother said about the whole thing. I will go right back and give you the names of the killers and more information. All right. So Tyrese was a beautiful person. He loved to skateboard. He loved to take pictures. He liked to go see the sunset. And most of all, he loved his mother and he loved his son. Those five men, their families are heartbroken as well. They hurt a lot of people when they did this. I don't understand why they had to do this to my son. So this is from the mother of Nicholas. She cried when she was talking. She talked about how she was few feet away. She talked about how she started feeling pains in her stomach earlier that day. But she didn't even know that something was happening to her son. So all those pains she felt was the pain of the brutal beating. Now, if you want to see the video, go on Instagram, go on Twitter. That's not even something we can share on YouTube. I don't know if Facebook will allow. Even if it does allow, it's not something I want to share because some people's mental state is just going to be a hot mess. I have seen the video. I have watched it. The Memphis Police Department released the video. So if you want to see the video, I would pre-warn you to brace yourself, prepare yourself before you go watch it. If you know your heart can handle, please don't even watch Okay, so five, uh, uh, five former Memphis police officers are facing charges in the death of Tyree Nicholas. Names are Emmett Martin, Justin Smith, Theodorus Bean, Demetrius Halley, and Desmond Mill Jr. are each facing charges of second-degree murder and aggravated assault, as well as two charges of aggravated kidnapping, two charges of um, official misconduct, and one charge of official oppression. According to both Shelby County Criminal Court and Shelby County Jail Record. Now, there are more stories about those people. If you want to read up, we, we are going to keep following the story and see where this takes us but it seems like this is a normal thing that happens in the u.s and this is a clear case of oppressed people do oppress okay it is so messy it is so nasty when you see other people other race do this to your own people but to think that these were five black americans doing this to their own fellow br brother it is beyond me, okay? It is beyond me. The level of mental health issues going on in U.S. is beyond me. Like I have said it before, a lot of people move around, you think they are okay, they are not okay. These five cops acted like people that were high on some cheap, nasty drug. They acted like animals. They, act, they didn't act like human. Even when the man was on the floor screaming, my mom, he wanted his mom screaming, mom, mom, mom. They kept hitting him. They kept punching him it was not necessary they kept pepper spraying him they did all those nasty things when they know fully well that their body cam is on and it is also said a, a post i saw online i know how true but it is said that they bragged after they murdered this innocent man that all he did was they pulled him over and when they pulled him over they opened the door forcefully dragged him out of his car he was there talking uh, telling them i didn't do anything i didn't do anything since when do searching someone pulling someone over result into punching beating kicking pepper spray and all of that this is just a hot mess and it's a shame that the u.s cannot even deal with stuff like this it is a shame that the u.s uh, police cannot even look for a way to reform I, I don't know the type of check they do before they get people into their, their police departments and all of that. It seems like they have criminals, murderers, evil-hearted people as police. It's a big shame. 